Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to install and run Ubuntu alongside any version of Windows you might have already running on your computer, be it Windows 7, 8 or 10. This approach would work for any release of Ubuntu you want to install. For this tutorial, I'll be using the latest release at the time of making this video and that is Ubuntu 18.04. Here I have Windows 10 Pro 64-bit currently running on my laptop and without changing any settings or losing any files, I'll be installing Ubuntu alongside my Windows so that each time I power on my laptop, I can decide which of the two operating systems I want to run. This is technically called dual booting, so I'll be dual booting my Windows 10 and Ubuntu 18.04. And now without further ado, let's get to it. So first you need to have a USB stick in order to complete this process. The size depends on the Ubuntu release you are installing, but I would recommend an 8GB to ensure that you have more than enough capacity to work with. Also remember to remove all files you may have on your USB stick because your USB stick will be formatted during this process. Then next you need to download the ISO file for the Ubuntu distribution you want to install. Now if you would want to download the latest release at the time you are watching this video, then simply go to Google search and type download ubuntu and hit enter then click on the first result from ubuntu.com and that should take you to this page here as you can see it tells me that i'm about to download ubuntu 18.04 lts desktop version which is what i want however it doesn't say what platform this iso file is for whether 64 bit or 32 bit it just says download on this green button now that is because there is presently only the 64-bit version of this release. Ubuntu generally recommends the 64-bit releases for obvious reasons. They are more suitable for newer hardware and they handle larger amount of memory intensive operations. Notwithstanding, I will show you how to get the 32-bit version of Ubuntu in just a moment. But this matches the platform of my Windows 10 PC, so I will go ahead and click the download button and then wait for the download to complete. Now this could take a while depending on the Ubuntu release you are downloading. As you can see, this 18.04 release is about 1.8 GB in size. So I recommend you do this over a fast Wi-Fi connection, otherwise it can take too long and a loss in connection during the download process could cause a download error and you might have to start the process over again. As I mentioned earlier, this process would work for any Ubuntu release you want to install alongside your Windows. Now, if you want to install some other Ubuntu distribution other than the latest one at the time you are watching this video, or you want to download a 32-bit version of a particular release, then simply add the release number to your search term in Google. So, say for instance, I want to download Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. I will simply search, download Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. And then, Click on the corresponding link from ubuntu.com. On this page, you can choose to download either the 32-bit or 64-bit edition. And after downloading, the rest of the process is the same in all cases. And by the way, the latest edition with a 32-bit version at the time of making this video is the Ubuntu 17.10.1.
then it finally reminds you that all the data on your usb stick will be destroyed here click ok and then wait for the process Install Ubuntu. Then choose your keyboard layout. I will leave mine as US and click continue. Here you can choose to connect to the internet before proceeding. This will enable you to download the necessary third party software and also install updates and help with time zone and all that. Of course the installation will take a bit longer but if you have a good connection and it's convenient for you then you can do that. Of course you can also choose not to connect to the internet. Here I will connect to my Wi-Fi and click continue. Here I will leave it as normal installation, then under other options I will choose to install other third party software. That's because I'm connected to Wi-Fi, if not you won't see these options. Then I will hit continue. After some time it brings me to this page. Here you should pay close attention to the options I'll be choosing. The first option says install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. Now if your operating system is Windows 7, then it should say install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7. And if you don't see this option, then you need to select something else at the bottom and then click on continue, then go and create a separate partition for your Ubuntu. But with this option that says install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10, just leave it at that and then click on continue. Now on this page, you can decide how much disk space you want to allocate to your Ubuntu operating system. You can simply click and drag this slider between Ubuntu and Windows to adjust the allocated disk space. Here I will adjust mine to 50 gigabytes and click continue. It then reminds me that the operation cannot be undone. Here I will click on continue. Continue. On this location tab, simply click on the area that represents your region and then click on continue. Here type in the name you want to use for your Ubuntu. Type in a username. Choose a password. And then click on continue. 
And now you can go and grab coffee while you wait for the process to come. As you can see, my Ubuntu runs perfectly fine too. And there we have it guys, dual booting Ubuntu and Windows 10. I'll be making a separate video to show how you can reverse this process in case you just wanted to try this out or you want to use Ubuntu for a specific period of time and then switch back to only Windows. That way you don't have to keep choosing from the bootloader each time you boot up your computer and that would also be freeing you some disk space to work with. But for now, if you have any questions or feedbacks regarding the procedures in this video, please post in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.